Energy isn't the only resource that green buildings are designed to save. They also focus heavily on conserving water, which is, honestly, one of our planet's most limited and precious resources. In many parts of the world, clean, fresh water is becoming increasingly scarce due to climate change, population growth, and pollution. Our traditional buildings can be incredibly wasteful, using huge amounts of perfectly clean, treated drinking water just to flush toilets and water lawns. A green building takes a much smarter approach, aiming to reduce water consumption both inside and outside the building. Every drop counts. Inside the building, the strategy is similar to energy efficiency use high-performance fixtures that get the job done with less. This means installing low-flow toilets, faucets, and shower heads. You might think that low-flow means a weak, unsatisfying trickle, but modern fixtures are engineered to use clever aeration techniques. They mix air into the water stream, so it feels just as powerful and effective while using significantly less water. For example, a standard old toilet might use 3.5 gallons per flush, while a modern high-efficiency toilet uses just 1.28 gallons or even less. When you multiply that by hundreds or thousands of flushes per day in a large building, the savings are immense. Outside the building, the biggest water user is typically landscaping. Many people plant vast, thirsty lawns that require constant watering, especially in dry climates. Green buildings take a different approach called xeriscaping. This involves choosing native plants and grasses that are naturally adapted to the local climate and require very little, if any, irrigation once they are established. Not only does this save a ton of water, but it also creates a beautiful landscape that supports local wildlife like birds and butterflies. When watering is necessary, green buildings use smart irrigation systems, like drip lines that deliver water directly to the roots of plants, and sensors that prevent the sprinklers from turning on when it's already raining. The most advanced green buildings go even further by capturing and reusing water. They might have a rainwater harvesting system that collects all the water running off the roof and stores it in a large tank called a cistern. This rainwater, which is perfectly clean, can then be used for flushing toilets or irrigating the landscape. Some buildings even have systems to treat their gray water, the relatively clean wastewater from sinks, showers, and laundry, so it can be reused for the same purposes. By combining efficient fixtures, smart landscaping, and water recycling, a green building can slash its water consumption by 50% or more, protecting our vital water supplies for the future.